Hey again everyone, and yet again I'm coming to you from the car. A uh, little man had a blood draw this morning, and he had to do it fasting, so he was not happy about missing breakfast. Were you a little man? Nope. Nope. And uh, so, I told him after we finished the blood draw, we would go to McDonald's, and he has ordered three bacon, egg, and cheese biscuits. Skinny. He is skinny. <laughs> he is very hungry. Um, he normally eats two or three bowls of oatmeal, plus some cereal, plus some toast, uh, plus whatever else he can sneak into his bag for breakfast. <laughs> And he didn't get to do that this morning. They did give him a popsicle at uh, the doctor's office because, yeah, he was, he got a little sick after the blood draw. He turned a little yellow. It was not pretty. <laughs> he started sweating and he was like, Mama, I don't feel good. So we are going through the drive through at McDonald's and I gotta better get my money out. They're not going to give us this on our good looks, are they? No. no? Okay. So I understand that it is National Dog Day today, so I thought I'd give you a picture of Teddy being excited. That's right. <laughs> Are you excited, baby? He's made a mess on the floor as usual. He has his blanket and a napkin on the floor, and he. We just got, or I just got home. Took little man to school after his blood draw. He really kind of worried me. He turned yellow. <laughs> um, then he started sweating and he said, Mama, I don't feel good. <laughs> um, so, well, Teddy, you gonna pay attention to me or not? What about you, Bit? Come here, Bit. There's a Bit. There's a little Bit. <laughs> Hi, sweetest. Hi, sweetest girl. So, hi darling. Oh, your hair's all messed up. What'd you do to your hair? I had a pretty bow in it and she knocked it out. And now we got all of the ponytail all messed up and I gotta fix it. <laughs> She's a mess. But these are my dogs. You've seen them before. National Dog Day, being lazy. I've often said that I wanna come back as a dog but I decided I want to come back as one of our dogs because they are treated better than people sometimes. Um, this little one <laughs> usually sleeps in between Ron and me. The other night, she slept in between us on the pillow, in between our pillows, in between our heads. It was so funny. Okay, they didn't want to play anymore, so... You're back with me. So, it's Friday. Um, Eric is still homesick. I woke up feeling worse again this morning, but I think I'm going to make it. Um, I know I look worse. <laughs> oh, my stars. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to get done today. I should probably figure out something to do for dinner. Um, we did not use the chicken last night uh, by the time I got home from picking up medicines and running errands Ron had already started making dinner for us so he made some pasta salads uh, made two of them they were really good and uh, grilled some uh, kielbasa and we had some lima beans and it was really good so um, I'm thinking I might do homemade pizza tonight. Um, I have enough time to get my dough going because uh, it is not even 10 o'clock yet, I don't believe. No, it is 10 minutes till 10. So I have plenty of time to get my dough rising um, so I can do that. And then I'll make barbecue chicken pizza and use the chicken that I thawed yesterday. So, uh, my kids love the barbecue chicken. Actually, Caleb is not that fond of it, little man. Um, but he he likes it, but he, he would prefer pepperoni. 
So I think there's some more pepperoni in the fridge. Um, if not, I can get some more today. And I can, I usually do um, a big batch of pizzas and I'll do some barbecue and some just cheese and pepperoni or something like that. So that's, I think, what I'm going to do today. And then I think I'm just going to rest. Um, tomorrow is a birthday party for my two sisters. Both of my sisters have birthdays in August. One the 7th and one the 8th. Uh, 20 years apart. <laughs> exactly 20 years apart. Um, I'm in the middle of those two. Well, not in the middle. Uh, I'm a year and a half older than my younger sister and my older sister is um 18 years older than i am so i'm not like right in the middle i misspoke there uh, but i'm in between those two i'm the middle child one of the middle children so uh that's probably why i am the way i am because i'm a middle child now, um, I think I'm going to get some laundry going because I didn't finish it all yesterday. I did get everything put away except the last load of towels, and I think there might be something else in the dryer. I don't think I ever folded that last load. <laughs> By the way, I'll, I see a lot of people on YouTube when they do their, their laundry, they um, take it out of the dryer and put it in the baskets and leave it there and sometimes people it seems like they leave it there for a few days and I, I don't know how they do that uh, without their clothes being all wrinkled I would love to know because there are times that I just can't get to drying or, or folding the clothes and they do have to sit and then I feel <laughs> now Teddy wants to talk now I'm talking about laundry. Now you want to talk. Silly dogs. Um, he just snorted at me. Did you hear that? Did you snort at me, Teddy? He's ignoring me now. Hmm. He says, it's not your national day. It's mine. Uh, <laughs> so, back to laundry. There are times that you just can't get to the clothes when they're right out of the dryer and you need to let them sit. And I would love to know how you do that without them getting completely wrinkled because then I always feel like I have, I'm sorry, then I always feel like I have to let them dry again uh, and which wastes electricity and time. Uh, sometimes I'll stick a, a towel, a wet towel or, or Take, maybe take one of the pieces of clothing out of the dryer and get it wet and then put it back in the dryer with the rest of them and then that seems to take most of the wrinkles out. Or you have to end up ironing and, I, and who wants to do that? Especially in 95 degree weather, who wants to iron? Uh, not this one. No, no, no. I don't like to iron in the best of circumstances, much less in bad heat. So if you know how that happens, how you can do that, uh, is it a, a detergent that you're using? Is it a fabric softener? I know that I can, since I started using fabric softener again, um, my clothes are not as wrinkled as before. So I'm wondering if it's, uh, I, now I don't use dryer sheets. Maybe that's what they're doing. I, I don't know. Um, I just kind of always thought that dryer sheets were overkill. Um, except for the static electricity st stuff, um, but I use I, I use detergent. I use Tide. Um, I use the Tide pods, and um, and it has like Febreze and all kinds of stuff in it. And then I use the Downy crystals that make everything smell so good. And then I use fabric softener, Snuggle. Um, I used to use vinegar, used to use nothing at all, um, but I do like the feel of my clothes when I use a fabric softener. I don't use, use a fabric softener on my towels. I use vinegar, white vinegar on my towels. Um, but I've never figured out how people can leave their clothes sitting 
for a while without folding them and then have them not be full of wrinkles. So if you know how that happens, uh, how that how they fix that, please let me know. I, that would be wonderful. I would love to know that. Okay, so I'm going to see what else I can get into. <laughs> and what? I might just rest. <laughs> uh, and since it's Friday, we have something to do tomorrow. And then Sunday, I'm not sure what we're doing. Probably just relaxing because everybody's, everybody's been sick. And then we'll just start the week over and try to do better next week. So I will be back shortly. Okay, I wanted to give you all an update on what is going on. I have done absolutely nothing today. <laughs> I don't feel well. I'm starting to get sick again. So, I can see that my face is really red. So, I'm going to wrap this vlog up for today and just pick it back up in the morning. And I hope you all have a wonderful night. Um, thank you so much for watching. Fly high, Pooh Bear.